Long ago, when the Mayans were living in the mountains of what is now Peru on the west coast of South America, things were different. Flowers, birds, trees, and animals wore other colors and shapes than those we see today. <laughs> decided to appoint a bird leader so that the birds could make peace and be quiet in Halleck's world. Calling for Shi Tun Tun Kino, the roadrunner, chief of the messengers, Halleck sent word to all the birds to meet the next day in the center of the forest. As each bird learned of the election, they all began to boast of their best qualities. Ko Polche, the cardinal, sang, Look at me. No one else is bright red and as beautiful as I. All the birds admire me. I should be queen. And she strutted before her audience, fluttering her wings and raising her crest. <laughs> Kolkolchek, the mockingbird, trilled, I'm the only bird with such a lovely voice. Listen. Her concert caused much awe among the birds, but the great spirit grumbled about the noise. The wild turkey, Coots, strode into the middle of the circle and gobbled. There is no doubt I should be your ruler. Am I not the strongest bird? With my size and strength, I can stop any fight and defend any bird in trouble. You need a powerful king, and I'm the one. Kukuo, the Quetzal bird, remained quiet. He listened patiently to each bird tell why each should be the leader, but he didn't dare compete. Kukuo was very ambitious and proud. He had fine manners and graceful body, but his feathers were shabby and rather dull, and he thought his clothing would keep him from being the leader. Suddenly, he had an idea. Kukuo flew over to his friend Shi Tun Tun Kino, the roadrunner, and said, I would like to make you an offer. Your feathers are as handsome as any birds here, but you are too busy with your work as a messenger to become the leader. Would you loan me your plumage for the contest? When I'm elected, I'll share the wealth and the honor with you. Friend of the ruler of the birds, 
It was a tempting offer, but he did not care to part with his beautiful plumage. Who cool kept chattering and assuring she tuned to him of his honesty and good intentions. He described scenes of the riches to come. At last, the roadrunner was persuaded. And he removed the feathers one by one and lent them to the clever Quetzal who fixed them on his body as if they were his own. Within minutes, the Quetzal was dressed in the most splendid costume. Kukul's tail hung in a sweeping curve of jade green plumes. His body shimmered with soft blues and greens like the Mayan sky and jungle. His breast blazed with the red of the tropical sunset. Swinging his lovely long tail in an arc, the bold bird promenaded into the clearing where all the birds of the Maya land were assembled. His entrance caused a hush. And then cries of bravo, hurrah, oh and ah filled the forest. Some birds twitched their tails in envy, others squawked in surprise. There was not one who did not feel some jealousy at the sight of this beautiful new bird. Of course, they did not recognize Kukul. How Unik was pleased since he knew of Kukul's deception and thought, he is a ruler whom I can control. The great spirit called the crowd to order and declared, I name the Quetzal to be the leader of the birds. flapping of wings followed this announcement as each bird fluttered over to Kukul to offer congratulations. Then a big party was given in Kukul's honor and after this all the birds flew home and left him to begin his new duties as leader. Kukul found himself so busy that he had no time to return the borrowed plumes. In fact, he was afraid to take them off and soon forgot his promise to the roadrunner. For a while, Kukul kept the birds from fighting and the forest was quiet for the great spirit. But... One day, a group of the birds was meeting in a shaka or a gumbo limbo tree. One of them noticed that Shi Chun Chun Kiel had not appeared. No one had seen him since the election. They began to suspect that Kakul had played some kind of a trick and they immediately organized a search for the roadrunner. At last, deep in the jungle behind a zipchi or a coffee bush, they found the Shi Chun Chun Kiel naked and trembling with cold, half dead. And he kept crying, Puhui, Puhui, which sounds like, Where is he? Where is he? in the Mayan language. Quickly, the birds gave him some balash, the sacred honey drink of the Mayas, to help him recover. As soon as he was able, Shi Tun Tun told them about the cruel trick played on him by the Quetzal bird. The birds felt sorry for the roadrunner. 
They went to Kukul and told him that he should give back Shitun's feathers and resign. The great spirit didn't want Kukul out of office. He wanted Kukul's clothing kept secret. It would be impossible for the leader to give back his feathers. So each bird then gave a few plumes to cover the poor roadrunner. That is why today roadrunner's plumage has so many colors and odd patterns. After the roadrunner was healthy, he resumed as a messenger and began to spread the word that Kakul, the ruler, was really the Quetzal bird who had deceived all the birds. Because of this, the birds started singing and chattering all the time in protest of Kakul, the king. To this day, the birds sing and chatter all the time. The great spirit has grown to love the music. <laughs>